Hey everybody, welcome to another Simple Science video. And in this video, we are going to be looking at elements, compounds, and mixtures. So let's get to it. We are going to be able to distinguish between these three substances. All right. An element is basically a substance that contains only one type of atom. For example, carbon. It only exists as carbon as diamond or as graphite. All right. So it can exist as tetrahedral and hexagonal planar structures of only pure carbon, nothing else added to the structure, nothing else added to the substance. For example, nitrogen gas, that is a pure substance. Now, it only contains nitrogen molecules, which only contain nitrogen atoms. All right. Let's look at a compound. So what is a compound? It is basically a chemical bonded structure of more than one type of atom. And the key thing to notice is that it cannot be physically separated. That means it cannot be separated by means such as distillation, fractional distillation, chromatography, dissolving, crystallation, all kinds of stuff. All right. So, and the key thing to note is that there is a constant ratio of bonded elements within the structure. That means for every water molecule, there is two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So basically, there's a strict and constant ratio of bonded elements. And let's look at a mixture. What is a mixture? It is a, it contains, it's substance that contains two or more different substances. They're mixed but not chemically bonded. For example, nitrogen gas and water and neon and carbon dioxide form a mixture if we were to mix them together. See, there's no chemical bond between them. All right. And can you all guess what this, this substance that is this mixture here, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to show you. Yes, it is. It's air. All right, air is a perfect mixture that we can illustrate. And they can be separated physically by the physical separation methods that I have briefly mentioned. And the prime example of a mixture is also an alloy. All right, metals can be adulterated or mixed with other elements to improve its structures. For example, iron, it can be mixed with carbon and chromium to further improve its structure to form stainless steel. All right, so an alloy is a mixture. Alright, so thank you very much for watching my video, and I hope you can come back and watch the other videos, and I hope you like to subscribe, like, and comment on these videos. Thank you very much.